Are you ready to uncover the shocking and mysterious story of Princess Latifah? This is not your typical fairy tale, but a real-life struggle for freedom and justice. For years, Princess Latifah had been trapped in a life of abuse and captivity under her own father's rule. Her attempt to escape failed, and the world wondered what had become of her. Now, we'll reveal the untold secrets of the Dubai royal family and shed light on the plight of Princess Latifah. So don't miss out on this exclusive journey of discovery and join us as we uncover the truth. This is Nonstop Luxury, and let's begin. Sheikh Mohammed Al Maktoum, the ruler of Dubai and one of the wealthiest monarchs in the world, has overseen the transformation of the city from a desert outpost to a bustling metropolis with a global reputation. However, behind the glamour and glitz lies a darker side to his reign, marked by accusations of cruelty, oppression, and abuse. Princess Haya, one of Sheikh Mohammed's wives, bravely fled from his grasp in 2019, revealing the true nature of her husband's regime. Despite having multiple wives and dozens of children, life under his rule is far from idyllic, as the story of Princess Latifah shows. Born into a life of unimaginable wealth and luxury, she has suffered unspeakable horrors at the hands of her father, culminating in a desperate attempt to escape and live a life of freedom. The details of her story will leave you stunned and shocked, shining a light on the sinister side of the Dubai royal family. Princess Latifah's story is a tragic one that began with her being born into a life of privilege but devoid of love and family. Her mother, Huria Ahmed Lamara, was married to Sheikh Mohammed and gave birth to four children, including Latifa. However, Latifa and her younger brother were taken away from their birth family as infants and presented as gifts to their father's childless sister. Growing up in her aunt's palace was a suffocating experience for Latifa, as she was raised by governesses and rarely saw her mother or father. The environment was oppressive, with dozens of children living together in a joyless existence. This was just the beginning of the cruel treatment she would receive from her father. Despite the lack of love and attention in her life, Latifa found a glimmer of hope in her cousin Shamza, who was four years older and a thrill seeker. Shamza was a compassionate person who demanded that Latifa and her younger brother be sent back home. This act of kindness endeared Shamza to Latifa, who saw her as a mother figure and best friend. Thanks to Shamza's intervention, Latifa was able to return home and live with her mother, and Sheikh Mohammed visited them occasionally. Latifa looked up to her older sister Shamza for her independent and free spirit, Shamza despised the limitations imposed on her as a member of the royal family. She longed to experience the world beyond the palace walls, to drive, travel, and pursue her education. However, when her father forbade her from attending college, Shamza decided to take matters into her own hands and ran away from home. Her attempt was thwarted, and she was forcibly returned to the palace. Sheikh Mohammed did not take kindly to his daughter's disobedience and treated her harshly. Shamza was confined to the palace and tranquilized by the guards. The experience left her broken and devoid of her former joy and vitality. Latifa was devastated when she learned of her sister's ordeal and resolved to escape the oppressive environment herself. At just 16 years old, she made her first attempt to flee, but was caught at the Emirates border and sent back to Dubai. Latifa's punishment was severe, and she endured three years and four months of imprisonment in solitary confinement. Her captors subjected her to constant torture and denied her even basic hygiene items. After her release, she returned to her mother's home but was determined to escape once more. Over the years, she prepared herself for her second attempt, taking up extreme sports and learning how to swim to become stronger and more resilient. She also enlisted the help of others to obtain fake documents and cross the border. In 2018, Latifa attempted to escape for the second time with the hope of starting a new life in the United States. Her plan was to make her way to India and Sri Lanka using her fake passport and then fly to the United States to seek asylum. Unfortunately, her plan was foiled when a team of armed men stormed the boat she was on in the middle of the Arabian Sea and forced her to return to Dubai against her will. Shortly after her failed escape attempt, a 39-minute video that Latifa had recorded before her escape was released to the public. In the video, she shared her reasons for wanting to flee and made serious accusations against her father, the ruler of Dubai, including allegations of cruelty towards her and her cousin Shamza. The video garnered global attention, and people all over the world were outraged by Latifa's story 
prompting the start of the Free Latifa campaign, calling for her release from captivity and the ability to live life on her own terms. For a long time after the failed escape attempt, there was no news of Latifa's whereabouts, and many feared for her safety. Despite assurances from the royal family that she had returned home and was safe, no one believed them. It wasn't until a year later that it was revealed that Latifa had been held captive in a private villa in Dubai. During her captivity, she was subjected to torture and was even tranquilized at times, according to reports. Latifa's story gained global attention and sparked outrage worldwide, with many calling for her immediate release. In a letter that she had written and given to her friends before her escape attempt, Latifa expressed her hope that her story would be heard and the truth would be exposed. I want them to be embarrassed that it took the Navy, several warships, armed commandos, three tranquilizer injections, and an hour-long struggle to put an unarmed pint-sized woman on a jet, she wrote. The letter, which was released after Latifa's failed escape attempt, further highlighted the dire circumstances she was facing. In a recent interview, Latifa spoke about her experience after being captured and taken back to Dubai. I remember tears just streaming down my face. It was the worst feeling in the world to be back in the hellhole after being so close to freedom, she said. However, in 2021, Latifa was finally photographed in public places in Dubai, Spain, and Iceland, which brought some hope that she may have finally found some level of freedom. The most recent update came in the form of an Instagram post in April 2023 where Latifa shared a photo of herself in front of the Swarovski Crystal Worlds attraction in Austria and wrote, I want to share my sincere gratitude to everyone who's shown compassion towards me over the past few years. In that time, my life has changed in so many ways, and I'm looking forward to the next chapter. Despite this update, many still believe that she's not truly free and continue to demand that she be released from captivity. The news of Princess Latifah's freedom is a glimmer of hope in a world where women's rights are constantly threatened. It's heartening to know that she can now travel and make her own choices, but we can't help but wonder how many more women are trapped in similar situations. The sad reality is that Latifah's story is not an isolated one. The Dubai royal family's control over women's lives and their freedom is an ongoing issue. While Sheikh Mohammed may be making strides towards improving the status of women in the Middle East, it's clear that there's still a long way to go. It's shocking to think that even within the ruler's own family, women are not allowed to live their lives as they see fit. The patriarchal system that restricts women's freedoms and limits their opportunities is perhaps outdated. Don't you think that as a society, we have a responsibility to ensure that women are treated with the same respect and dignity as men, and that we must work towards breaking down the barriers that limit their potential and freedom to live their lives on their own terms? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and subscribe to Nonstop the Luxury.